Greetings, visitors, both of you. Um, today's video is going to be correcting a accident that I had, and it involves paraffin wax and electronics and spilling it everywhere and trying to get paraffin wax off of stuff, and not in a good kinky way, more of a www.youdumbass.com kind of way. Um, backstory is I had the, during the holidays, I had, um, well, and currently, I had found a couple of uh, scented candles, that, like the warm tobacco and pipe tobacco scents that were pretty fragrant, and I had them burning in my office and common sense would have dictated when the candle got down so far that there was just barely anything there to just blow it out, let it harden up, throw it away. Well, it still had a little bit of wick left and I was just bound and determined. And long and short of it is I had a, I don't know, a candle bigger than that, about twice that size, that had about that much paraffin melted in the bottom of it. And it was stacked on top of the next in line that was had a lid. And when I turned around in my office, I elbowed the uh, candle and knocked it over and all I heard was just a splash. Um, you can kind of see some of the things. This is a actually wick trimmer. Now these are relatively, you know, these are two that were, and I pretty much was able to shop towel, scraper, utility knife, coffee scoop with a rigid edge, get most of those clean. The four ham radios, wow, they are just soaked. So I will, what I've, what I've done is I cleaned up the mess that was all, all over the bookshelf. Um, and all over the placemat. There's a black of the placemat that was covered with the wax. Um, it, it was not on the carpet or anything like that. It was all on my electronics um, equipment. So that all got cleaned up and I was just so frustrated with, by my, just elbowed the thing and you know, what, what's supposed to happen when you have something unsafely stacked up. So here in a minute, I'll go inside. I, what I did is I put them in Walmart bag and put them in the freezer and hoping that that would harden this par paraffin wax up enough that I could just you know, lightly scrape it and it would just fall off immaculately. And um, yeah, not so much. But they are getting cleaned. It's just a process and I will bring you along on that process as I go. This will be my next victim right here. Um, it's pretty well, yeah, that's, it is what it is. So I'll be right back. Okay, that was about five or 10 minutes with the scrubbing with the cloth. And is it perfect? No, it's, there's still just a little bit, you can feel it on them. A little bit um, but again those are charger bases for uh, Bofang or uh, Abri uh, cell phones and then of course the uh, wick trimmer that seems to have uh, gotten Pretty clean. Can't mess that up. Oh Lord, because then I couldn't burn candles and spill freaking wax everywhere. Okay, I'm going to clear off this space just a little bit so I can go in the house, go in the freezer, and
Ah, I gotta have some Java. Bring out the disappointment of the day. Four of them. These are the Abri. I forget what model that is. There's another Abri. I think this is one that I fixed the screen on. Good thing too, so I could coat it in paraffin. And these are a couple of uh, UV 5Vs, Bofangs. Um, I took the uh, antenna off. I think when I start cleaning this one off, I'll switch the antenna from one of these two onto it to keep it from getting down into that connection. But yeah, this is, this is heinous. It, uh, it got it pretty good. So, anyhow, you know, all together, what's that, about $4 worth of radios? Uh, so anyways, let me, uh, continue on, and I will bring you on board as I see any signs of hope. Before I switch over, I was just telling this Tony that just something in the back of my mind from a prior life uh, in the ink industry, I'm thinking that isopropanol melts paraffin wax. And while I wouldn't want to use the store version, which is all I've got, which is I think 90%, it's that 10% of water that would give me pause in using it. If it was straight industrial, 100% alcohol, uh, isopropyl, uh, isopropyl alcohol or isopropanol, uh, I probably wouldn't have a problem with it other than it might start attacking the plastic. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. Back at you. Okay, this is the uh, first one that I did. It wasn't... Uh, it was probably one of the lesser coated and all the uh, buttons still have rebound. Um, I think in the long run, about the only thing that'll wind up uh, being true about this incident is that it has uh, given it a further slight amount of, uh, let's see it's a little China woman talks to us frequency mode oh yeah so a slight bit more and the, I was wrong these aren't the bow fangs they're the same thing it's the uh, what's it say the professional FM transmitter red of us and it is the RT5RVs I have like six or seven of these so I'll switch this antenna over to the tall one with the extended battery. No, I might do the Abri first, and but still switch the antenna over. And I'll uh, join back up with you in a minute. This is the uh, results so far of this one. It was completely, I mean, it was everywhere. And I think I pretty much got it cleaned out. I'm probably gonna have to go upstairs and get those uh, torques set out and pull that grate off the, the cover and clean the grill, the speaker grill from the inside. Uh, I don't want to be shoving it through onto it. If it didn't come out easily, I just, you know, kind of left it. And the other thing is, is I want to make sure that the contacts, it looks like I could give them another little rough, you know, to see if the thing had even come on. Now, the funny thing is, I think the whole reason I bought this, I don't even know what model it is, and it's kind of crazy. It's got a telescoping rubber duck antenna, and I believe what the magic of this one was, the lure to purchase, was simply that you could turn it on, and it would listen and pick up frequencies, and then you could transmit right back on that frequency. I guess if I took the battery off the back, I'd be able to see what model this is and maybe get some operating instructions, but based on what I just said, guess how many times I've used this? Never. 
it was just cool. I had to have it, and it sat on my shelf charging until the great paraffin incident of 2023. So, there's that. Uh, maybe a little bit more rubbing in there. But anyways, that kind of cleaned up nicely. The battery seems to be dead. Um, and I think that this one wasn't plugged into the charger. So I think I might plug it in the wall over here and see if it shorts out the entire house and smokes this bad boy, which I'll be sure to videotape before I unplug it, if that's the case. So I went upstairs and I found a plastic scraper and a bristle brush to get in the cricks and crevices and crannies. Um, I believe I have two of these. Um, and I think this is the one that had the bad screen that I fixed. I may have said that. Uh, oh, check it out. Yeah. And a manicure. Oh, and a petty. Manny Petty. Um, never had one. And my cuticles were just destroyed. And just kind of on a dare, I went ahead and did it. Um, it's all right. I mean, I'm not wanting to take the high hard one in the center pocket or anything afterwards. So that's cool. Uh, so, anyhow, paraffin is, uh, you know, all in my skin right now. So my hands are like, oh, you're sm soaking in palm olive liquid. Uh, I guess that aged me. So not too bad. Um, let me see if it'll charge up and fire up. Two more to go. This one is, was the uh, second to the worst. Maybe if I can hear a little better because the sunlight's blinding the camera. Um, this was the second worst. I kind of got the suspicion it might have got a little dose of paraffin down on in the speaker because it's a little muted. I'm going to compare it to the other one. Um, but it cleaned up pretty well. Um, and especially since uh, if if I add up all the times that uh, I've actually used this one, um, never. So I have nothing to, oh, and uh, Wuhan uh, Charlie comes up. Welcome, frequency mode. So that can't be too bad. So, so far the great paraffin wax event has claimed my pride, but not any equipment. Oh, the uh, film was still on the screen. So, you know, there's that. So, anywho. I suppose it's a nice little radio. It's very, it, it's rugged, it's uh, hefty feeling in the hand. Um, now that I think about it, this one might be an airband uh, receiver. That may be what that is. Um, and it was kind of crazy because when I plugged it in, I didn't plug it in the wall, I just set it in the socket. The socket lit up green, uh, which means that it was probably back feeding juice off the battery into the charger. But as soon as I plugged the charger into the wall, and went red. Um, it didn't light up though, and uh, when I turned it on, so this may be uh, you know, target practice material or wall art. We'll see if I ever yank my head out of my backside and finish studying to take my technician and general license ham radio license at the same time. That would be cool. But, you know, 
priorities, priorities. Yeesh. The last one. I was uh, cleaning this one off and realized that this is a Baofeng F8HP, which means, you know, at least 20 watts, you know, with the extended battery. That's good for at least another 10 watts of output. Yeah, not so much. Um, I forget why I bought, I think there's a pair of these. Or I gave the other three of them I had away with the extended battery. Um, I think just because I assumed that they didn't cost that much, they had no real intrinsic value, and programmed them onto the MERS or FMRS, uh, FMR network, um, something. I think a coworker was going to uh, Mexico or Colombia or something and just wanted some sort of short range simplex type communications. It cleaned up pretty good. Um, I didn't give it a lot of hope. Let's see if uh, Wuhan Sally is talking. Channel mode. It would appear so. So I'm going to take this little stub off and put it back on that uh, 5R or whatever it is, Redditus. Um, I have a dual band whip, um, the 771 I think it is, that goes on here that's laying up on the dresser still. So the end result of this is, was I able to get them all cleaned up? Yes. Um, the other thing I just wanted to be abundantly clear on, the candle was not lit when I knocked it over. It had, um, it's the end of the day I'd blown it out and was just um, letting it solidify and I would continue burning it down, you know, get every penny for, you know, candles ain't cheap. Um, so anyways. The, the candle was not lit. There was never a chance that it was going to catch my room on fire in my office. Um, normally very, very, very safety, safety oriented. And, um, you know, it was just one of those things that uh, kind of caught me flat footed. And uh, it was profanity producing um, in at least three languages. Uh, so... I'm not real proud of that, but it is factual. Um, so, if uh, you ever get yourself, let's look before I close this off, let's see if this thing is uh, going to light up and start working. One. Well, I'll be dipped. It is not dead. It's a it's a Christmas miracle, or almost Easter miracle, one of Valentine's, whatever. So I'll leave you with that. I do appreciate you uh, checking us out. Um, you can clean these radios. They're pretty rugged. I would stay away from poking anything into the screen grill because uh, you'll crack the speaker. Um, and they're they're. Take them apart and fix them, you know. Uh, there's looks like there may be some paraffin down in the grill inside that one. Uh, but it sounds good. Channel mode. So I, I don't think I'm going to mess with it. Uh, as long as I can hear it. And again, paraffin does impart a small amount of water resistance um, to these. That is definitely not the way you go about it. I mean, that'd be just about as smart as just getting a 55 gallon drum of it and dipping them all in it. Um, but they were salvaged. Um, it wasn't an accident. It can be recovered from. Uh, the biggest thing that I would recommend is that 
something like that happens, um, let it harden. Uh, I picked them up and put them in a Walmart bag so they weren't getting, because it will flake off and be all over the carpet or your floor or whatever. And it, it's a gift that just keeps on giving. Um, I was out here on my workstation cleaning them um, to get them clean. And they did come clean and they are functional. Um, so I'm grateful for that. Do me a favor. Uh, if you have any comments or questions or whatever, I've got about 15, something like that. I don't know. I, it's a sickness of these handheld radios. Um, any comments or anything, put them below. Have a conversation about uh, how dumb that was. Uh, and maybe consider subscribing, uh, liking, and sharing. Uh, I just realized that this would be kind of cool to do a couple of them a, a week. I've got to put the finishing touches on the one that I was working on yesterday where I wrap up what I need to do on the kayak. Um, but that's another video. And we'll see from there. I appreciate your time. Thanks for checking out my stuff. Make it a great day. Peace out.